All right, guys, we're back with round three, Edison format, Epic Cards and Games in Hearst, Texas. We got the Sheriff Los on the left, taking the GB channel and trying to be the first player to win with GBs on the channel. Uh, looks like Los opens uh, Prisma and is going to send what? Aquari. And he's going up against Dennis Nadas, YCS champion, uh, 21 YCS Philly in 2023, Cash Tira. Now, Dennis, he plays Edison, but he's not like a, a regular. He just sometimes occasionally shows up for Edison. So he's playing Dragon Turbo. We'll see how he does. Unfortunately for him, this is from what I've been told, I don't really know. I don't, I don't never play Dragon Turbo myself, but from what a few of my friends who play Dragon Turbo have told me is that this is a horrible matchup, which makes sense because Dragon Turbo doesn't play much defense, so you just GBs are free to attack. Unless you got to drop the big dragons early. And also, Herc just destroys this tech. Anyway, so Dennis Continus is the stone, searches blue eyes, and then activates trade in. So Dennis out is on two counts for Rejuve. You always got to keep track of that. It's one thing I dislike about playing this deck. Okay, double upstart by Dennis. It makes sense Dennis is playing this. This deck, because he's more of a, he's more of a, a regular Yu-Gi-Oh player, regular like you know, twenty twenty four Yu-Gi-Oh player. And this is like the most I believe most modern Yu-Gi-Oh deck compared to all the others. It plays like no defense. It's all, it's all combo. You know, trade in up consonants, upstart, future fusion. I've been really wanting to try this deck out myself because there's times I watch Dennis play and I played against him a few times and man. The deck can just be so overwhelming at times. And okay, so there's the rejuve, and what's that count at? Two? Yeah, two for rejuve. Is that it? Is he, if he has no other plays, he's in trouble. Especially if Losis has another GB in his hand. Or like uh I think Losis is playing Call the Hana, so Call the Hana would be pretty good here too. Test Tiger. There's a lot of stuff Los could have. Let's let's hope Dennis has at least one play. Uh, right now, currently, both these guys are undefeated. Usually, I don't get the undefeated, but it was, it's like Islos, who's like a... He's probably one of the top players at my locals, for sure one of the top players, and then getting up against Dennis. So, yeah, definitely going to put these two on camera. So, Dennis heavies, and Lowe's plays Starlight Road, which I was pretty sure he had. It's either that or Solemn that Lowe's had. Maybe Dennis there was hoping that Lowe's had the Solemn and not the Starlight Road. And now Dennis sets a monster. I think he had to, but I don't know how familiar Dennis is with GBs. I don't think he's too familiar with them. Because like I don't think Dennis played during this era of Yu-Gi-Oh. I think, from what I've been told, I think he started playing in 2014. Yeah, he started playing Yu-Gi-Oh in 2014, so he missed like when GBs were like relevant. After, like, I think the last time GBs were at Living World was, what, 2011? Maybe. Anyway, here, Dennis drops the Gores on... What did he drop it on? Hmm. So, 24, 25. So, what's Lowe's going to do here? Tags out Geyseris. So you can tell he's debating on what he's gonna he's gonna do. So yeah, you can see the call the haunted. So yeah, he put back the He tagged uh he fused with Prisma and Secutor. So I think this is what Los is gonna do. He's gonna get He's gonna tr so yeah, L Los, this is his first time playing GBs, but he actually I actually do remember he actually played GBs. Back in the day. So he's a little more familiar with GBs. But still, just he hasn't played it in years. So he's still probably going to be a little rusty with the deck. It, it makes sense. All right. So Darius for Geyseris and Rediari. So he's going to Geyseris him again to blow up the Gores and the token. Now, what's he going to Rediari here? Oh, he's reading if he can get rid of a spell. Okay. So I think if he can do a spell, which I don't know. It looks like he can, because that's why he read it. So he got rid of Heavy Storm. So if Dennis can't Magical Stone it, and then Heavy Los again. So that was a really, really good play by Los. Now he can set four. And he, has to, he doesn't have to worry about getting heavied again. 
He only has to worry about True Nade, which I'm not sure if Dennis plays True Nade. All right. So how does Dennis deal with this field? Four back row, Stardust, Geyseris, and Darius. But the thing about Lowe's banishing the heavy, he does have Stardust, but maybe in, in case... Oh, so Dennis would have gotten the heavy Storm back, but but you have Stardust. But that was what, what else could Lowe's have done? Could he have done a different play? So what he grabbed, Dennis grabbed back the trade in. He discarded Whitestone and Consonants to get back trade in. And then here comes Pot of Avarice. He puts the Gores back. He didn't leave a debris track, a debris target. Hmm. I'm, trying to, I'm starting to think maybe Lowe's could have left the heavy there and done something else. Could he have like made a Herc? Because he did have Stardust to protect him from the from the heavy. But maybe it wasn't worth it. I don't know. Again, I don't know Lowe's back row, so I can't I can't sit here and really look at the situation fully. I don't have you know perfect information. Alright, so Dennis Consonances gets discard stone and searches another blue eyes. So you can see this deck plays Lightning Vortex. Another interesting card that I don't I saw Dennis playing was Snipe Hunter. I don't know if that's I'd never seen it in a Dragon Turbo before. But I guess it's online. Like I, I don't keep up with the online community. Luckily a lot of my friends do, so they tell me all the all the stuff that's going on online. <laughs> I don't know, I'm just not I, I like playing in person. I'm I I've never enjoyed playing on dueling network slash dueling book. I like feeling the cards in my hand, and it's just that's just me. Anyway, Dennis normal summons White Stone. Looks like Los is at 11k to Dennis's 3100. So he banishes Stone for Red MD. Let's see if Los has a Chariot. He's probably gonna get Blue Eyes, I think. So did Dennis call priority? Oh, he did call priority. Okay. So now Blue Eyes hits the field. Probably because Los, Los would rather deal with a Blue Eyes than a Red MD that's going to keep pumping out dragons every turn if he can't deal with it. Okay, now Dennis sets two, activates Rejuve. What's the Rejuve count? I lost track. So it looks like five. Does he have another Rejuve? No, he does. So just draw 10 cards. <laughs> what other deck does this in Edison? <laughs> draw 10 cards. <laughs> Seems fair, huh? Yeah, I, I've played Dennis a few times recently, and he always takes a while to decide what he's going to discard for his hand. I mean, he has ten cards. It's like you have to really look, and it, it's it's a lot of it's a lot of decisions. Like, what am I gonna need? What am I not gonna need? All right, so he throws Kawaki Meru, Future Fusion, Instant Fusion, and a couple other spells that I can't see. So Los is gonna try to hit one of the Recklesses so he doesn't get double Reckless. And now Los chooses to compulse the Blue Eyes. So I think that's why he bottomless the Red MD. He'd rather deal with the uh, He'd rather Dennis have a blue eyes and obviously a red MD in his hand. So now, okay, here, Dennis recklesses while Los is attacking with Geyseris. And he takes 24, drops the Gores. Dennis should have dropped the Gores in attack mode. Because, yeah, token the 24. Now you're going to let Los ta hit your GBs. He, I mean, Los is 11,000. Yeah, now. He's going to just attack your gores. That ugly ghost gores. <laughs> yeah, you just let him. And now he's going to run over your token. It's funny because you dropped the token in attack mode, but not the gores. I think Dennis, like I said, I don't think he's ever played against GBs. But at least maybe he'll learn his, like, okay, I'm not going to do that again. So th those of you guys who've been watching the channel for a while, you know 
I hate ghost rares because I feel like they look bad on camera. <laughs> Sometimes I can't tell what the cards are. Like I can't tell which if it's a gore if it's a ghost gores or a ghost dark arm. Anyway, so yeah, this was kind of like now Los gets four tag outs instead of no, not four, three tag outs instead of just one. So he Mermillos the Gores, and then let's see what have mattered. Because this was happening regardless. But now. Oh, no, you get four tag outs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gets four tag outs. So this was going to happen regardless. He's going to get the Mermillo and the Equest. Yeah, Mermillo and Equest. Okay, he's reading Prime Material Dragon. So Dennis has 600. We're pretty sure Los, we, we're almost positive Los does not have chariots. Okay, so this is the extra tag out Los would have. It gets Rediari. Now, does he tag out the Laquari? I guess it wouldn't have mattered too much. But, yeah, would it have mattered if he dropped the Gores in attack mode? I guess Los wouldn't be rediari him here. I guess that's the only difference. So it really wasn't that big of a deal then. Okay, yeah, it wasn't that big of a deal. The only difference is that White Stone would still be in Dennis's grave. <laughs> All right. So Los has one card. A Stardust, a guy, a Herc, Stardust, Ready R in defense mode, and one back row. And Dennis cannot draw due to Reckless. Dennis normal summons Debris Dragon. So now you know that's not a Chariot. So my guess is that it's a D Prison. So Banish, Red MD. Sorry, Banish Debris for Red MD. He gets Prime Material Dragon. Can he deal with the Herc? Because he's at 600. I think Dennis is scared of Mirror Force. That's why he grabbed Red MD. Sorry, that's why he grabbed uh, Prime Material. Oh, no, he should have got rid of the Prime Material. At this point, if if I'm Dennis, I'm playing around D-Prison and not Mirror Force. Just because you're at 600. But let's see which one Lowe's has. So the good news is if it is Mirror Force then Dennis is in a good spot. But if it's D prison, then Dennis is in a bad spot. So let's see what happens. So Los lets it go through. He takes 300. So now we know it's not... Well, it could still be Mirror Force, right? So it is the D prison. Lightning Vortex, he negates. Oh, Dennis has Magical Stone... But he can't, he has to discard a card for Lightning Vortex. He doesn't have enough cards. Okay, Dennis. Oh, no, Dennis forgot to attack over the Radiari. But it doesn't matter. I, I'm thinking, could what should Dennis have done? Maybe he should have dropped the Prime Material in defense mode. That way he plays around Mirror Force. If he does that... Yeah, but Dennis has 600. If Dennis can't rid the field... Los is just going to, uh, <laughs> he has to read her. Yeah, you look, one thing I noticed is, uh, Dennis dropped Gores twice in one game. Out of all the matches I've done this past year, I've never seen anyone drop Gores twice in one game. Shout out to Dennis. First time I, I think, unless there's some other time I might've seen it, but I don't think so. It's not twice in one game. <laughs> Okay, so he activates Avarice. So he had to stone the Avarice. I don't see what Dennis can draw. I think the only thing he can draw is another Red MD. Is a Red MD, banish the Prime Material, bring bring out Blue Eyes. But his Blue Eyes got deprisoned. Yeah, I, I guess I'm trying to think of what was the best play there. I think... I think maybe bringing the Prime Material out in defense mode was the correct move. If you were scared of Mirror Force. Yeah, I think that was that was the move. All right. So, game two, Dennis passed. Oh, no. 
This is not good for Dennis. He's getting Seki toward right here. <laughs> you already know. Los is already... Los, as soon as you saw Dennis pass, like, oh, yeah, you're getting Seki toward. <laughs> yep. Den Dennis... Yeah, Dennis does not... See, the reason I know GB so much, because one of my friends played it for a long time. He actually was... He actually got second with GBs on the channel against me. I played him in the finals. He's also one of the people who got closest to winning with GBs. Unfortunately, one game two, I made like an illegal move and it ended up, we, we both didn't catch it. It was like an, a double oppression versus MST thing. I was, and he probably would have, maybe he would have won that game and we would have gone to game three. But anyway, it looks like Los is going to bring out the Herc. Herc, two back row. Or does he want to have the extra discard? So, yeah. One card Herc. Rescue Cat turned into a Herc. <laughs> that seems fair, right? All right. So, Dennis upstarts and then sets one and passes. So, Los drew D prison. Normal summon a quest. So, what do you do if you're Los here? You're going to tag out a quest for what? Oh, no. Now he's just going to remember middle of that drag. Yep. Probably better off not not having that in your hand. <laughs> yeah, that's now you're just going to get more mellowed. Yeah, they were right. Shout, shout out to my friend Sal told me this was a horrible matchup. I can see why. So does Los negate Reckless? I think he does. He doesn't want he doesn't want Dennis. I, I, I agree with negating this. You don't want him to have the two cards. Even though he's skipping his draw phase, but right now he you know his hand is bad, so you don't want him to draw two cards. So nine thousand or six thousand. What else does Dennis have? Let's see. This is taking a long time. Okay, so he normals Debris Dragon. Attacks the Mermillo. That's actually fine for Los. He's just going to attack into the Debris and get the Mermillo right back to his hand to have it for discard fuel. So, yeah, it's not looking good for for my boy Dennis and Los has two proving grounds. Yep. Oof. 2K from the Oh, but he could have Gores here. Gores is actually okay here. Let's see if Dennis has it. He's debating on dropping it. Yeah. I think he does have it. Yeah, he's attacked. So you attack for 2k. So if you are going to drop the gores, yep, here here comes the gores again. Maybe Dennis shouldn't use a blue eyes token. <laughs> Don't you guys agree? Yeah, maybe Dennis shouldn't use the blue eyes token. They might think it's an actual blue eyes. Okay, so yeah, we knew this was going to happen. Lowe's re-adds the Mermillo. And now he's got two back row. Tokens at 18, 2,700 gores. Oh, yeah, that's the gold ghost gores. God. Okay, let's see what Den... So Dennis activates card destruction. Does Los let that go through? I think he sees it as a minus one, so he might let it go through. But you're giving him a lot of draws. I, I, let's see if Los decides to negate it. You know Dennis's hand is bad, so I'm surprised. Maybe Los, Los is like, ah, I don't mind drawing three new cards. It's risky, though. Okay, Future Fusion. Does Los negate Future Fusion? So he doesn't. He negates Future Fusion. Heavy. Negate. How many cards? Two cards left in Dennis's hand. 
trade in, and I think it's magical stone. So yeah, it, this this pretty much game is over for Dennis. Horrible matchup. It just sometimes is, it is what it is. Depending, GBs have some great matchups, but then they have some bad matchups like Hero Beat and Black Wings is a pretty rough matchup for them as well. And Dennis Scoop. So yeah, Los is moving on with undefeated record, trying to be the first person to win with GBs. Dennis. Still fighting. He's still X1. Has a chance to make top cut. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed that duel. We'll be back soon for the rest of the tournament. Bye.